The U.S. has always been an outlier. We've always spent a larger proportion of our GDP on health. Um, we also spend more per capita on health than other countries, and that gap has tended to widen over time rather than get closer together. We're really not as much of an outlier as we'd like to think we are in terms of the amount of health care we spend. We're also not quite as much of an outlier in terms of um, that we're fatter, we are a little fatter, but we don't necessarily use more tobacco or alcohol in other countries. So we're that perpetual outlier status really doesn't explain everything. We're middle of the road by quite a number of utilization metrics. These things don't happen in a vacuum. Everything adds together. All our choices about what we spend and what we use and um, what decisions we make for our own health, they all add up, but they also all interact. And if we look at one thing separately at another, we, we ignore that interaction and we don't get the full picture. Um, I think also when we focus on very small slices, um, if we just, for example, focus on we have too many MRIs, too much technology, or too little technology, um, we're only getting a very small part of the picture, maybe not the most important part of the picture, and so we never address the bigger drivers, which are we're a very wealthy country, um, and because of that wealth, we can make choices in terms of the, the structure of our healthcare system that probably have more to do with that outlier status than any of these individual little pieces.